2009, Michael Orr is drafted by the Ravens. A six foot eight, huge, stunning athlete. He's kind of like, like a Shaq was to basketball. Really fast, runs the 40 in something like 5'3". I mean, this guy is the perfect offensive lineman. But there's so much more to tell about this person's past. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm here to talk about The Blind Side. This movie, by the way, is a family movie where there are only a few instances of adult language. It's a very safe and beautiful movie to see. And in this day and age, I like that a lot. The Blind Side is a movie about hope, caring, family, and how one person can change the life of another's in a very simple manner. The movie is based on the real life story of the rise of a young inner city African American Michael Orr from poverty to playing in the NFL. This movie contrasts the poverty and wealth in one Mississippi town and does a good job of keeping you entertained for the entire time. A story, this story is based around the Tui family which takes in the homeless Michael Orr. While hoping to define his future, they bond with him and gain an otherwise relationship that would have never happened in their all-white community. Also, for sports buffs, you'll have fun at the cameos from some of the college coaches who are part of the movie. The movie is directed by someone I have never heard of. It's John Lee Hancock. And the main character, Michael Orr, is played by a Quentin Aaron, and he has very limited acting experience. Sandra Bullock is the mother, the wife, called Lee Ann Tui. Tim McGraw, the country star, is Sean Tui, the husband. Lily Collins, a young Lily Collins, is uh, Collins Tui. She's uh, the daughter. Jay Head, a cute little boy, is Sean Tui Jr. <coughs> Ray McKinnon, who does a great character acting job, is the head high school coach. And Kathy Bates, as a famous actor, she's Miss Sue, he's Michael or his tour. Sandra Bullock portrays a strong matriarchal figure in her family. The movie focuses around how she takes control of the situation to help Michael Orr. As far as the major characters go, Sandra is the main character. Other than Quentin Aaron, the rest simply stayed on the sidelines. Yes, the son, the, the little kid, the son, is very cute, and Tim McGraw does provide some fatherly advice to Michael Orr but it's the energy of Sandra Bullock that keeps the movie worth watching. In one of her scenes, she tells a group of gang members slash friends of Michael Orr that she is packing and is a member of the NRA. By the way, Leanne Tui is also Republican. She has the best opportunity to win an Oscar. Sandra Bullock immediately removed, removed me from her being Sandra Bullock and gave me a character that is believable and that was a driving force of Michael Orr's life. Sandra also is the most exciting character of the movie. Ironically, the part she plays was a woman who was a former college cheerleader. She definitely showed that bubbly side of the character as well. At times, this reminded me of a really good family hour sitcom, but I have to admit, this is a very emotional movie. It is obviously set up that way. At times, I had a pretty good sized lump in my throat at certain points of the movie, and I was holding myself back because I was with a date. <laughs> <laughs> Cinematography is nice, nothing dramatic. A good relief from the special effects gone wild age. Clichés are kept to a minimum, but the college coach cameos did lay it on pretty thick. Watch <coughs> ESPN some nine, you'll get the idea. The Bond side will probably not win the best picture. Sandra Bullock has a chance to be the best actor, but this movie is definitely a must-see, and it changed me, and I know it's going to change you. Thank you very much. Thank you.